Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a pop-up alert message in AppSheet. A pop-up alert is to show you a confirmation or an information message every single record you add to the table. To do this, please follow the step one by one. But before we start, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please click subscribe to watch more videos. Let's get started. Welcome back again. In this tutorial, I will use my last app sheet app, which I was created from my last video. If you haven't watched my last video of how to create an employee tracking system, please go to my channel or the link is in the description. To start it, go to behavior tab. Then create a new action by clicking on add new action and then click on create a new action. Rename your action to what you want. In this case, I rename it as pop-up alert. Choose a table that you want your action to work with for a record of this table. Choose the type of action to perform. In this case, you have to choose grouped, execute a sequence of actions. Click hide to hide this action. Then scroll up to find the behavior tab. In behavior tab, turn on the needs confirmation to show users a message or a confirmation. Then click save to save your action. Now go to sign in tab in your app, then click plus sign. Then below your app, you will see sign in form and click on it. Then go to Behavior tab to choose the Event Action. Click on Event Action drop-down and choose Pop-up Alert, which you have created. Click Save to save your work. Now let's test to see how it works. It works great now, but we need to customize the message. I don't want confirm for the alert title and I don't want are you sure for the message. And we also need to hide no and change the pop-up alert to close. In UX tab, go to Localize to customize the alert title from Confirm to Information. In Sign In, click Add to test the message. Now, in Localize tab, look for Confirm to customize it. Click in formula to add a formula to it. Now add this formula in. In the list, you have to add the sign and form in. So, the information is for the sign in form and confirm is for other form.
Click Save to save your formula. Now, test the form again to see how it works. It stays the same and nothing changed because I forget to save my work. So now click save and try to test again. See now it changes from confirm to information. Now we're going to change from are you sure to something else. Go to Behavior tab, and under Behavior look for Confirmation Message. In Confirmation Message, click on Formula to add a formula. Now add this formula in. Then click Save to save the formula. And click Save to save your work. Now test again. It works perfectly now, but the problem is there is no space between the employee number and the is, so we need to go to the formula to edit it. So you need to add a space here, then click save, and then save your changes. Now test again. Great! What we need to do now is to hide the no button and change the pop-up alert. Now go to UX tab, then go to localize, then look for a no to edit it with formula. Then click on the formula bar to add a formula. Now add this formula in.
Then click Save. Save your work again. Now test it again. Great! Now the No button is hidden. Now we need to change the pop-up alert to close. Go back to Behavior tab, then scroll up to look for Display Name. Then put Close in double quotes. Click Save to save your changes. Now test it again. Great! Everything is worked perfectly. Thanks for watching. Hope you like this video. If you find my video is helpful, please click the like button and click subscribe to watch my future videos.